guys, it's Sarah and today is Thursday, so today is Bookless Thursday and Lisa from Books and Smiles and I actually started this series and we are doing a different list every Thursday. So we're just going to bring you some fun lists, things that we are just wanting to share with you guys, whether they are book recommendations in a certain genre or just a fun list of things that we've been thinking about lately. And today we wanted to give some love to BookTube because everyone deserves some love. We are going to do BookTuber shout outs today. One of the criterias for this list that we decided on was that we wanted to share with you some people who you may not have heard of. If we just talk about all the big BookTubers, I mean, that's fine. We can talk about them, but they already have hundreds of thousands of subscribers. So we want to talk about some people who don't have quite as many or they're just starting or they're just the lesser known booktubers that we think needs more recognition. So I love this idea. All right, so the first person I obviously have to shout out is Lisa from Books and Smiles, my partner in this Book Looks Thursday project. She is fantastic, you guys. I love her so much. I found her through another channel. Someone had talked about one of her videos and so I clicked over and looked at hers and I hit subscribe almost immediately because I was drinking some coffee while I was watching one of her videos and I almost spit it out because she made me laugh about just talking about a book that she thought was crap and she said that in more colorful language and it was so funny. I just, I said, I have to subscribe to this girl. And then we started commenting back and forth on each other's videos and now we are friends and we talk on Voxer almost every day and we are bouncing ideas off of each other. So I've really gotten to know her lately and I just adore her so much and I just, I have to share her. So she's number one. The next one that I want to shout out is Lindsay from Lindsay's Little Library and she has had her channel for a little while and I believe it's starting to grow a little bit and I'm really excited for her for that. She is the sweetest of the sweet, let me tell you. We connected on Facebook a while ago because she is also a scrapbooker like myself and so we kind of connected with that and then the booktube thing started and we both have channels so we were connecting through that as well and we've been messaging back and forth quite a bit and I just adore her. I think she is so sweet and adorable and we have very very similar tastes in books. She got me to read Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pimborough which is going to be in my top 10 of this year and it's one of the best books I've ever read and I think I've done that for her as well with a book that she read recently and so we're very, very similar in our taste. So that's why I enjoy her channel so much. And again, I just think she's lovely. Okay, this next one is a male, which there's there's quite a few male booktubers. You don't see them quite as much, I don't think, but there's I'm seeing more and more. And this one is Peter from Peter Likes Books. He cracks me up, you guys. I do not watch a single one of his videos without just laughing or giggling. He is so funny. He is a big personality and just brings so much life to his videos and I love it. He has a few different channels I think too but uh, the booktube one is the one that I watch and I really like a lot of his conversations that he has. He has a lot of vlog style videos where you know he'll just talk about whatever topic he wants to talk about and I think his views are very interesting and he's also an author and I just I love him. He makes me laugh. Okay, the next one is Andy from It's a Reading Thing. And Andy and I connected because we ended up buddy reading Alexander Hamilton together uh, with another girl as well. There were three of us. And she is so super sweet. And she actually lives in Arizona, close to where I used to live when I lived in Arizona. <laughs> and we didn't know each other then. Obviously, we weren't in the same town, but, you know, close enough. So I just really enjoy her content. She has a lot of good content. She does a lot of readathons and she vlogs for them. And I seem to think we do have very similar tastes. Not everything is exactly the same, but enough is the same that, you know, I really enjoy watching her videos and I get a lot out of them. The next one is Jen the Librarian and her name is Jenna and she is a librarian so that's really awesome. She has a lot of good insight on that and she's done a few videos talking about being a librarian and kind of what that experience is like and then obviously she reads a lot and I just think she is so sweet and so cute and we again have very similar reading tastes and 
she and I have felt the same way about some popular books that maybe we had unpopular opinions about, but our opinions were the same. So I really relate to her on a lot of those types of things, and I just think she's great. Okay, the next one is Kath from Kath Elizabeth Reads, and she lives in England, so she has that fantastic accent that I just love so much, and she's really super sweet, and I love when she posts book hauls because she always says she doesn't want to post another book haul, but then the next week there's another book haul, and she's like, yeah, whatever, it's fine. And we, we do have some very similar tastes in books and I've seen her haul a few things that I had never heard of so it got me interested in them especially some of her psychological thrillers she talks about so I've gotten quite a few recommendations from her. The next one is Kelsey from Kelsey Reads. This girl is adorable and her aesthetic is just gorgeous like I'm I love her booktube channel and her Instagram as well and she does a lot of library books. She doesn't have a big huge amount of of books on bookshelves that she films in front of or you know she doesn't do anything like that she goes to the library a lot and I really think that's great and she also reads on her Kindle so you kind of get a little bit of a different take you know she doesn't always have books that she's holding up constantly because she has so many books she does a lot of library stuff and a lot of Kindle books and I like that okay this next one is Andrew and his channel name is okay so booksically and I just love that. It's really hard to say. You have to think about it before you say it, but it's the best name ever. I love it so much. He is adorable. He lives in South Africa, I think. I'm pretty positive that's where he lives. So you see, and he does a lot of vlogging too, so you kind of see the countryside over there and it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. But I really like what he has to say about a lot of the books that he reads and he makes me laugh as well. He just has some really like quick humor and the way he edits his videos are really really funny. I was laughing so hard when he did a video about authors he has a crush on and he talked about Pierce Brown. Oh my gosh I was laughing so hard because he was literally blushing. <laughs> it was just so funny. And the next one is Julie from Pages and Pens and I really really have been enjoying her channel and I've been talking to her a little bit as well so I've been getting to know her a little bit and she her content is great. She does really good on what she's presenting and how she's presenting it and she has a lot of really good thoughts and I just I feel like her editing is on point and she you know she makes her point she comes across really well and we have very similar tastes in books as well so I kind of relate to her a lot on that and I just I think she's great. She's also a published author and she is currently writing a fantasy book I believe so she's taking you on that journey with her writing as well so I think that's awesome. And the last one that I'm going to shout out is kind of a bigger booktuber. She's not quite as big as some of the huge ones, but she's made, really making a name for herself. And that's Kayla from Books and Lala. And she is probably my number one favorite booktuber. You know, when I get on booktube, she's the first one I check to see if she's posted anything. I really, really enjoy what she posts and the way that she posts it and I think her videos are so incredibly creative. I love her editing and the way that she lays out her stuff. I don't know what she uses to edit her videos but I'm so jealous and every time I watch one of her videos I'm, I'm just inspired and I don't necessarily have the same reading taste that she does although she has gotten me interested in some books that maybe I was on the fence about and maybe now I'm more interested in them but I really just admire her channel and the way that she presents her content and the kind of content that she creates. Her videos are very creative. She comes up with things that I wish I would have come up with and I just love her. She's my absolute favorite. Okay guys, that's it. Those are 10 booktubers that are kind of on a smaller scale that I wanted to shout out and give some love to and there's videos that I really, really, really enjoy. So please let me know down below some of your favorite booktubers so I can check them out and I will talk to you guys again later. Have a great day. Bye.